after Robert's party, I remember feeling like time had slowed down. Me and Day spent almost every minute together. We both knew that we only had so long together, so we wanted to make our, make, you know, make our make out time count. And to do that, I had plans. Yeah, I know what I said before about my plans. And it's true that they were, I was gonna say, genuinely terrible. But then deciding to have no plan was weirdly just another type of plan. I realized that making plans wasn't the problem. The problem was that my plans always involved me trying to be someone I'm not. It's fine to be better or to try to put yourself out there, but I think I was being too hard on myself. I know I'm starting to sound like you, doctor. Oh right, the plan. Well, this one was simple. No, it was actually simple this time. The plan was to have a nice last day at school. Okay. Me, Day, and Taylor were hanging out in the halls in between first and second period. I was handling the whole moving away from label thing pretty well. That's it. I'm not leaving. Stella, no. They can't make me. I guess they can, but after they close up for the summer, you might have to leave for, you know, food and water, air conditioning, and the necessities for survival. But Taylor, I'm gonna miss this school. The tiny chairs, the mysterious mold, the creepy rumors. I'm even gonna miss my stinky locker. It still smells from Robert's sock. Yep. Try my best to scrub it and spray air freshener, but it's a stubborn stink. It just didn't want to leave, just like me. But now I must leave it. I'm not sure I'm ready to say goodbye. I get that you're feeling nostalgic right now, but it's just a funky smelling locker. But it's my funky smelling locker. Yeah, Taylor. You know, I knew I shouldn't have said anything, but for some reason I said it anyway. I'm sorry, you're right. It's just that everything's changing so fast. The highway expansion is almost here. There's a bunch of new kids being shown around for next year already, and I don't know. Little High already feels different. I guess I'm really gonna miss it here. You know, yeah. No. <laughs> You're not going to miss it at all. I don't know, maybe. I'm just more excited about what's next. I'm tired of staring at the same old walls. Time for some new walls to stare at. I just can't believe I graduated. I guess I'm better at this whole thing than I thought. I was fully prepared to have to do a summer school or something. You could do it anyway, pick up a few extra credits just for funsies. That sounds like your kind of funsies, not mine. Bell rings. Okay, I guess we should head to class. Yeah, I guess. What the? What are you three doing here? What? Uh, going to class? No, 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 no. You did not just say you were going to class. <laughs> Tell me you did not just say that you're going to class. Uh, <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> we didn't mean to say that. I don't know why it was a bad thing to sing, but judging from your reaction, it must have been wrong. It was. Because today is National Skip Day. It's what? National Skip Day. It's only the best holiday like ever. Taylor, what is he talking about? It's the last day of school, basically. And because everyone's grades can't change, there aren't any consequences for skipping class. It's not only consequence free, it's accepted to skip. Actually, no. It's expected that you skip. Taylor, you knew this and didn't tell them. I forgot, okay. Now that you mention it, that does explain why there was like nobody in the first period. Yeah, we basically did nothing in English today. Mr. Garciano just handed out a crossword puzzle. Exactly. So wait, why are you here then? Looking for you three. I mean, come on, it's Stella's last day here. 
I'm not about to let you waste it by actually going to class. Let's get out of here. Skip class. Yes. Wow. I've never done that before. Me neither. All right. You know what? Let's do it. Nice sticky fingers. I was a little worried there for a second. I had to walk here and it was a lot further than you think. Grabbed my stuff and said one last goodbye to the hallways of Ladle High. We piled in my truck and headed to the lake. When we got there, Barbara went up to the biggest tree we he could find and started doing something. He wouldn't tell us what. He said it was a surprise. There. Now everyone will always know. Know what? That we were here and we were glorious. Wow. <laughs> right. I hope we were here. It does just literally say we were here. So, so how does anyone know else who we is? I mean, are. You know what I mean. Oh, I actually don't think it really matters. We know, and that's what counts, right? Totally. Nice save. I couldn't help but think about my first day here. I can't believe it's barely been a year since I was here. Hanging out for the first time with all of you. I was so nervous. I don't think I ever told anyone of you this, but my detention story was a huge lie. Yeah, we know. Wait, really? Yeah, it was kind of obvious. Oh man, that was so embarrassing. I guess my whole are you worthy thing did kind of put you all on the spot, huh? Well, kind of. Yeah. My bad. But you were the first person to talk to me at school. Just the fact that you invited me to the lake was unbelievable to me. Really? Duh. You made probably one of the most memorable entrances I've ever seen. You skateboard in looking all badass and did a prank on you? Well, yeah. But you were the class rep and you were cool and you wanted to hang out with me after school. Yeah, sounds like a better first impression than I made. What do you mean? The first thing you saw me do was fight with Ingrid. Actually, I saw you fighting with nobody. What? Ingrid was invisible, so I kind of thought you were yelling at me. Right. Damn it. <laughs> Definitely not my best moment. But you were so nice to me. You started my education on what constitutes a party. You helped me prepare for the lake. You made me feel like it was okay and that I was some bumbling dork. And then I made you feel terrible. I should have felt... I should have felt ter terrible. I hit you with my car. You what? You barely nicked me. It was nothing. Nice stunt, Taylor. Way to tuck and roll. <laughs> it wasn't some stunt. I still feel bad about it. But you just immediately try to make me feel better by turning it into some joke. What was it again? I said I get hit all the time. And sometimes when it's a bad one, I have to turn the drivers into mulch. Wow, that's dark. You had to be there, I guess. Then you said you, uh, that you come to the lake with me. That really helped me feel like I could do it. Because you were there for me. Y'all just all made this year one of the best years of my life. It was pretty great, wasn't it? It added ups and downs. Yeah. It definitely had its moments, though. Yeah, like the time we pranked the hell out of you two. Yeah, it's not really a great prank phone call when the person you call knows it's you the whole time. You weren't there for when Stella called a serial hotline and said her name was Robin Hood. Whatever, it was really funny at the time. And we got Robert good, too. You left yourself wide open for that one, dude. For someone who calls him the prank door, you kind of got shown up. Got shown up by the queen of pranks. Nah. Yeah, you did. Okay, whatever. Totally get, got you with the ladle ripper prank. Especially Taylor. What? No, you didn't. Come on, you were horrified. Was not. Look, we were all on edge that night, and we all got a little spooked. Except for Taylor, who was a lot spooked. Nice one. 
All right, fine. Maybe I was a bit freaked out. Just a bit, though. Taylor, you don't understand. I came alive that night. I saw a fire in you that screamed, I want to live! <laughs> and the fact that I caused the fills with me with prize. Because I'm happy that my terror did that for you. We all just stood there for a second with big smiles across our faces. When Robert took a big breath of air and exhaled like he had just eaten a delicious meal. What was that about? Huh? Nothing. I'm just trying to take in this moment. Soon it's going to be gone. Soon the ladle I used to know will be gone. Damn. Yeah, where did that come from? Hey, I can be deep, okay? No, it's true. The other day, I had a random family in a minivan ask me where the near supermarket was. Ha. Ah. <laughs> They're out of luck. Yeah, but it just made me think. How long until they start building one? Who? The family in the van? What? No. Just they. I guess it couldn't always be stay boring old ladle forever. Uh... How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? The whole highway expansion, people moving in thing. I don't know. I'm not that worried. If everything goes bad, I'll just find somewhere else, I guess. Really? Sure. I mean, I'd rather everything work out, but there's not much tying me to ladle anymore. Nothing bad is going to happen here. Everyone has been cool so far. Yeah, it's actually kind of weird. I guess people adjust to a new normal. I would think that the discovery that magical beings exist would be positive things for most people. Yeah, for most. Exactly. As far as I'm concerned, we're all about to become famous. I doubt that. Just wait, Day. You'll see. It doesn't matter. I'm leaving Ladle anyway, so... I guess everyone out there will just have to get used to me. Wow. Yeah. Welcome to being an adult, I guess. I feel woefully unprepared. What do you mean? All the teacher said, grade 12 is meant to prepare you for adult life. Be ready for a tough year. Yeah, right. This year was a joke. Right? Like when we had the group project. Oh, yeah. We just kept putting it off and putting it off. Robert, I have to give it to you. You are amazing at finding ways to procrastinate. Hey, that wasn't all me, okay? No, we clearly were looking for a way out of actually doing work. But that way out was you constantly telling us some random story. Right. There was that one about you, about how you swore you saw a UFO. I said I might have seen one. Might. All I know is that that was an orbalite that moved in an unlikely flight trajectory. <laughs> Are aliens that strange in comparison to, you know, you guys? Exactly. The point is, we, <laughs> we goofed off the entire night and still managed to pass. Yep. Still the same old little high. We stayed there, reminiscing until it was time for me to go home and pack. Then, as much as I didn't want to admit it was time for us to say goodbye, I said goodbye to Robert and Taylor first. Well, sticky fingers. It's been, it's been a, a slice. It totally has. I just want you to know that you are like a completely righteous girl. And I'm not just saying that. I know you get kind of down on yourself, and I get it, but you're awesome, Stella. You really are. I was inches from tears. I just hope we get to hang out again. I like that. I, uh, I won't do it. Won't do what? I was going to make a joke about seeing you in another five years, but don't worry, I won't do it. Taylor. Stella. Taylor. 
it's um you and day huh yeah I uh happy for you you two seem good together Wow, oh, Taylor that was genuinely fairly optimistic statement oh whatever I'm kidding thanks Taylor no but seriously I'm gonna miss having my camp friend living down the street Taylor you made this year worth it. And all joking aside, whether or not it's five years or five days, I'll just be glad to see you again. Me too. But for you. Hey. Hey. You know what's funny? What? I spent so much time thinking about leaving this town, but I suck at goodbyes. I tried my best to laugh so I wouldn't cry. I couldn't handle this. The other two were one thing but day. How can I say everything I want to say to you? You. I just. You came into this town and you made it brighter. There are so many memories you just wouldn't have happened if you didn't make them happen. Like the first day we met. You were so cute. Like when you dropped me off last after the lake, I couldn't help but hug you. I just felt such an immediate connection to you for some reason. You did, totally. Even the times that were pretty pa kind of painful, they're better because you were there. Like when I found out I didn't get my scholarship and you were just there without me even having to call. Yeah, but Ingrid still got there first. But it was you that I wanted with me. That sketchbook you gave me helped and inspired me to keep trying, even if I couldn't admit that at the time. I don't know what I would have done without you here with me this year. I don't know what I would have done without you this year. No, you don't understand. I'm being miserable right now. I mean, I'm upset that you're leaving me here all by myself this summer. You won't be alone. We have Robert and Taylor. Yeah, but you know, they aren't you. No, are you gonna be okay? I'll be fine. What about Ingrid? How has she been? Well, she's gone from haunting me to just jokingly spooking me. But you're okay? Yeah, we're good. But I am looking forward to not having to deal with sudden jump scares. Good, good. Just laugh at. Sorry. I just. I wish that we had at least one more night together. I know. Me too. Just promise me that when you move back to the city, you just keep being you. Because you're amazing. If I never see you again. Why would you never see me again? I don't know. Something could happen. Maybe you move on with your life and... Don't talk like that. I know, I know, Jess. Promise me. I promise. Thank you. This doesn't have to be goodbye, goodbye, though, does it? You mean, is this it? Yeah. I don't know. Everything seems so... up in the air right now. I know. You have my number, though, right? Yeah. Just give me a call. I'll always answer. Oh. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you, too. Aww. We held each other there for what seemed like hours. But eventually we had to let go. Eventually we had to say goodbye. As we left the lake, we decided to leave on our own mark. And so we carved our initials in the tree. Aww. We meet up there with the others by my truck and then I gave them all a ride home. One last time. I knew the only thing left to do was go home and pack. But instead, I did one more lap around Ladle. Passed by the school, and I thought about how this year I wasn't scared to walk down the halls anymore. I didn't eat my lunch alone in the bathroom. We had friends. Goodbye, Ladle High. Passed by the lake. I thought about all the firsts I had this year. 
First time getting drunk. First time having a sleepover without a parent supervision. First time going to a real party. First time skipping class. First kiss. First. Goodbye. The lake. I looked in the rear view mirror and thought about how long ago that last September felt like. I'm gonna miss this town. I'm gonna miss giving everyone rides. I'm gonna miss driving on these roads. It all looked different. It felt different. As I looked in the mirror, I caught my own reflection. I was different. And not in the way that I was trying to force myself to be back at the beginning of the year either. I didn't become some outgoing, uber cool girl. I was still me, still still, just different. That's when I decided that I needed a look to reflect that. So I stopped off at Sal's convenience and bought some hair bleach and headed. Oh. When I got there, I found myself staring at the TV, trying to pretend like it was another day after school. Don't worry, Danny, you'll get used to the big city. Says you. Yeah, it didn't work. Aw. Dad left me one last note. Hi, honey. I've been doing a lot of thinking and what I said the other week came out wrong. I wanted to move so badly because I wanted to be able to spend more time with you. Being closer to work would help with that. But I didn't consider what you wanted. You've grown up so much I didn't realize it's just all about father-daughter time anymore. You have your own friends and your own life. I should have realized how much Ladle means to you. I'm sorry. You're your own woman now, and I should let you make your make these decisions with me. I'm so proud of you. I love Dad. Aww. I went to the answering machine, and for a second there, there was, in, was that familiar feeling of excitement that I would get. Come home wondering who called. It may be one of my friends left me a message, but then there were no messages left. Dad had canceled the phone plan yesterday. Watching him do it finally made the move feel real. Hmm. Ooh, we got two of seven. Bump in the middle of the night. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, this is from episode three. The prank to her strikes again. Oh, the different states of Stella. How cute. It's <laughs> cute. Okay. Went to sit in the window to think, and there you were. Dad must have found you in my own boxes. I'm still really sorry about losing you in the move and totally forgetting about you all year. I was so excited to finally be able to tell you everything, but I had some business to take care of first. With the phone plan being cancelled, I couldn't call anyone, so I just laid there for a second with their hair dye beside me, ready to do the most drastic thing to my hair I've ever done. Then I realized something. I wasn't as scared as I thought I would be, and I thought maybe changing isn't so bad. I took a deep breath and thought this was it. I knew that if I went through it, there would be no going back. Well, technically, if I waited long enough, it would grow back, but you know what I mean. Was I really ready to move on? Did I give myself enough time to say goodbye? Let's do it. Move forward, girl. Well, what do you think, Doctor? Alright. Well, I personally think I did a pretty good job for it being my first time. Apology accepted. Huh? Oh. Well, after I did my hair, I came up here to tell you all about, well, everything. Oh, it's coming full circle. I guess that's it. 
That's the whole story. Well, there is one last thing, Doctor. You know, the family that's moving in has a young daughter. I guess I thought maybe you could help her for their teenage years. Aww. Like you helped me. Ugh, we're gonna... We're gonna give Teddy. That's the right thing to do. Ugh. Well, I guess this is goodbye then. I hope she treats you with all the respect that your doctor has earned her you. Be good to her and keep being the best listener. Keep being the best listener in the biz. I'll miss you too. Goodbye. It's been a good year. Loved it. This was really good. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect when coming into this game, but it was a really, really cute story. Um, you know, very relatable. There's a lot of dynamics. I still want to hear. Ooh, before I say anything else, one year later. <gasps> I can't believe it we're doing this I know right no you don't understand I wanted to go on a road trip ever since I was a kid oh we're gonna be sentimental we'll be excited actually it's gonna be so freaking awesome so awesome that you'll be like wow I can't believe how awesome that was day then you'll be like I know Stella I too am completely blown away by this absolute full throttle nature of awesomeness that was this trip then you'll be like day how can we ever recover from our minds being blown to smithereens by the force of said awesomeness then you'll be like like that was really fun okay I think we killed it you know what I'm really happy about though what I get to spend so much time with you I know it's been hard. I mean, I love when you come over and talking on the phone is nice, but I like miss you. Is that weird? No, I miss you too. You do? Duh. Well, I told you that you should just move into my apartment already. When did Vanessa and Jacqueline get, I don't know, annoyed? What? No, they love you. Really? I kind of thought they were already getting sick of me hanging out there every weekend. What makes you think that? I don't know. Vanessa's like the Loch Ness Monster and she does these amazing landscape paintings. Jacqueline makes her own clothes that are like way more stylish than anything I've ever worn. They're just both so cool. Stella, I think you're cooler than you give yourself credit for. Says you. Damn right. I, I want to want to move. It's just my dad says I should focus on university at least for the first year. I get it. But the year is almost over. It is. How's that going, by the way? School. I'm still struggling. I still have a ton of reading to do after the, after the break. What is it now? Middle Ages, the Cold War era, Warring Twenties? No, I'm actually doing research for my thesis, cryptids throughout history. Oh, wow. They're letting you do it on that? Yeah, I'm actually really excited about it. But it's really hard to separate the myths from facts, so yeah, struggling. I can't imagine having to do, like, actual work for college. Oh, don't even give me that art isn't real work crap. You're constantly working. Last time I think time I came over, you'd been up all night trying to finish a painting of your hand. Okay, but then there was a time you covered the entire floor of your apartment with figure drawings and studies of human skeleton. Yeah. And the other time you pulled an all nighter memorizing all the human back muscles. And okay, fine, you're right. Sorry, I just see how much energy you put into it. I don't want you to sell yourself short just because other people don't consider making art real work. It just doesn't feel the same as high school. That's because you enjoy doing it. I guess that makes sense. Um, speaking of which, I wanted to give you this. Oh, cute. 
Oh my god, day. This is so nice. I just... I wanted to make you something that just for you. I love it. Uh, where is it? The squirrel. <laughs> I said that very anticlimactic when it should have been. I <laughs> We're going to New Farland. Oh my god, day. I think I just crapped my pants. You did. <laughs> it's it's an expression. Doesn't matter because next stop is Montreal. But we're still stopping in Montreal, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to slow my heart rate down. Come on, Stella, get amped. You know, last year I never would have thought this would happen. Not only am I going to college for art, but I'm traveling too. And I'm doing it with you. Okay, now I'm amped. Woot. Woot. <laughs> oh, look at the road trip. Okay, now that's the end. That's so cute. They like said what I was trying to say before. I really liked it. Um, as I said, I was trying to play very evenly so I can see what kind of relationships just kind of happen on its own as best as you can in these types of games. Um, I think I'm actually going to probably play this also on my own and try to see the other two stories because I'm really kind of curious how those things play out. But um, let me know down in the comments what you thought. You know, were you happy with the way it ended? Did you not like it? Let me know. Um, and if you like other games like this, let me know too. I had a lot more fun than I thought I was going to initially with these things, you know, since there's not a whole lot of, um, you know, uh, gameplay, per speak, you know, uh, it's mostly for the story, and that was great, I loved it, and yeah, with that, I'll see you in the next episode, so, doodles!